Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Okay, today we are taking a look at the new uh, compressor app from uh, Blue Mango. So, if you're after a super transparent, very, very clean sounding compressor at a very good price, I think $4.99, then I think you may be quite impressed with this. So, we're going to do this in two, two cases sort of thing. First, with just a solo piano, I am going to play that. I did record this thing, but I didn't really like it much. Um, but I could play it again if you like. And uh, <clears throat> But I'm going to play it with uh, this um, piano from, I think it's from Sample Tank. Let's have a look here. Yes, yes. So we're, we're running an audio bus, and I'm running Sample Tank's Classic Grand, which is this from the Imperial Grand. And let's go back to cute basis. And oh, let's move that though. And I have the compressor switched off at the moment. So the idea here is to show you how well the compressor works uh, and how clean it is by playing just an acoustic piano sound. Well, I'll close the microphone. Now it's going to get quite bouncy because I'm really going to belt the keys at certain parts of this so you get an idea. So here it is without the compressor. And then I'll go through how I've got the compressor set up basically just to demo it. You wouldn't normally have the compressor set like this really. Actually, I will set this on hard as well. So hard knee. Uh, and I will set the ratio high at 32 to one. Whoa, we're almost into limiting there. And the mix is on full. So when you hear the compressor, it will just be the compressor. Attack is fast. Inputs on zero dB. Outputs boosted a little tiny bit. But uh, the point is, I want you to hear how well the compressor works. And um, also without the compressor. So I'll play a little bit of very dynamic piano first without the compressor. But I'll turn the microphone out. So you get the idea, loads of dynamics goes very quiet when it should, is very, very loud when it should, but too much. So if this was in a mix or you were recording this, if you were listening to this in a car, cars, car radios and things usually have compressors built in. You know, there's quiet passages of the music get kind of boosted on the radio so you can, you know, over engine noise, etc. traffic, blah, 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 the usual thing. So uh, I want this to be, if this was a solo performance, it wouldn't be quite set at this extreme level, but it would have some compression because I would want the really quieter passages to come up. And you can kind of think of a compressor as an automatic volume control, you know. And some compressors colour the sound and that's what you want. Some compressors don't, some they're some transparent, some have more controls, most have these controls. <clears throat> but this is a very, very clean sounding compressor and it's only 4.99 right okay that being said i will now play kind of a similar thing but with the compressor engaged So to give you a comparison of that, you can see how well it works, but you can't hear it. You don't really want to hear, in with an acoustic instrument like a guitar, guitars, vocals, pianos, only compression. 
at some degree because when you're in a quiet section of music, you want <laughs> you want to hear the the kind of dynamics. But this is too extreme. But to give you an i an idea. Here is like with with the compressor on, right? You lay my key clicking now; it doesn't really matter. But with the compressor on, we've got like kind of this kind of thing. I play very very lightly. The threshold I think is on minus fourteen. Yeah, minus fourteen. Really belting it doesn't really. The dynamics are kind of gone because our ratio is so high. So I'll play it higher up as well. We'll take that off and very quiet. All the dynamics retain. So we can get around that easily. This time we'll set our ratio uh, a lot lower. We're about four to one to be good. The release will leave where it is. Release is okay. We'll take the attack up. Okay, so we'll have our compressor come in slightly later and we'll put our knee to soft, not super soft. Soft, it's not super soft, soft. Okay. And now without, again, I'll close the microphone. So that kind of thing, lots of dynamics without the microphone too, you know, getting quite loud. Um, right, okie dokie. And now I'll apply this and I'll turn the microphone out and now we'll have much more dynamic range, but we'll still have it, it the compressor working to bring up the lows a little bit, but control the highs, but not in such a dramatically hard way sort of thing. So there is some dynamics to the sounds left, you know. See, that's an that's an, an almost perfect more by flute than design. That's an almost perfect compressor setting for for this particular piano because you've still got all the all that dynamic control. You can still hear the really quiet part, but you know when they get louder. So that's what you want to be doing with your compressor, stopping it from kind of going into the twilight zone and, whoa, what's that dude? Someone's just played a scene. It's like 25 million times louder than everything else. This will fix that for you. Ooh, compressors will do that. Okay, so that's that. What's that there? Yep. If, if for anyone who's interested, here's this thing. It was kind of the same type of thing. But I just, I recorded it, then I thought I might as well just play, you know, I can be a bit more interesting than just keep playing that over and over again. Okay, so that's that. So the next one we'll do is, um, if some, anyone watched my live stream last night for Cubase, this is a new Cubase 2.8, they will have seen uh, this track here. But I want to apply some compressor to certain parts now. Okay, so... Here we have a bass uh, here. I'll just play this section for a start off. I'll go into this. And shall I just go back there? And there's this bass. I can go up and solo stuff out as well. And I'll add to this track. I will add. Uh, I've, had, I've, I've previously added an FAC chorus and the, the compressor here. Okay, so the, the, the bass, let's have a look at the settings. We've got the threshold set on. I think I'll set that on minus 14 as well. And uh, I'll we leave it on softly. I want the, the output game might be able to come up a little bit. Well, no, but it's still on wet mix. 
Ratio this time, not so much. I can go with 16.1. I am kind of want it to be the same. But we can have a listen to how it sounds anyway. So first of all, I'll just solo it and then uh, play it. Sorry, that was my guitar. I want the bass, don't I? Ah, right, okay, so we're done. All right, then, so we'll leave that on there for now because that's uh, also been compressed. I'll solo this which is definitely the bass, and choose that, and I shall play that as it is. Okay, so it, it was pretty good, it was recorded okay, so let's add some compression. Uh, what do you units here? Okay, boom and goo, compressor, compressor. And this is the, let's do, let's do a comparison. Let's just take it on and off, on and off until we're happy with the sound sort of thing. So full wet mix now. Take the threshold up to about minus 14. Minus 15. So if I, it's a lot smoother now, and we, do we want it to work a bit faster? And we can. So the bass sits nicely in the mix there. If I drop the compressor out of that while that's actually playing. It's much better. Okay, so let's take this, um, drop this compressor back on. Oh, it's already on anyway, so that's nice. So I'm going to put the chorus in now, which is the effect I had. Compressor makes a huge difference to the acoustic because it, because I'm not the greatest guitarist in the world, obviously, it's difficult for me to sort of play it at a, an even sort of strum sort of thing. So that com the compressor fixes that for me. Uh, so it makes everything level. And then I can just go in and make adjustments to the sound. Make it a bit more natural. And then I could make overall adjustments to the mix volume and know that the bass or the acoustic or whatever else is being compressed <clears throat> in the track level, excuse me, is uh, it is going to be fine. You know, we're not going to get all of a sudden get any sort of uh, unwanted peaks in the music kind of thing. And this is why most of the time you don't need to compress things like drum machines unless you want to get that pump and effect. Use compressors like... Um, expressively you know in um affected affected ways instead of it just being doing its original job which was just to be controlled volume really 
anyway guys there you go there is the blue mango i'll tell you what's cool about this as well is it's fully rescalable uh am i if i move this a bit sorry it's fully rescalable here properly in everything it's in look at this so that's quite nice. It doesn't kind of, it just properly expands into the correct areas. Anyway, guys, listen, I, I, I hope you enjoyed that kind of little thing about uh, the, the Blue Mango compressor. It's it's very, very, um, it doesn't do anything to the sound. It's very clean. It's very clean sound. Anyway, listen, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, if, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or please, please, please consider becoming a patron if you already haven't to. Uh, signed up it's only like a, you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month and it's uh, you know it's cool beans okie dokie um yeah i'll see you guys later bm compressor from blue mango yay